Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I'm checking out Subnautica. Now this is a game that's been out for a long, long time. I've actually had it in my library for most of the duration of the time that I've had a VR headset, but I never had the opportunity to check it out. Um, and so we're gonna jump in. We're gonna start a new game. Uh, like survival, but without hunger and thirst. Yeah, let's do Freedom, because I am not good with the higher difficulty games. Press any button to continue. Here we go. Alright, so... Uh-oh. Well, at least we're strapped in for whatever is happening right now. Ah, oh, that's no good. Darkness again. Did we get hit in the head or something? Alright, so climbing ladder. Just literally just walked up to climb the ladder. That's kind of weird. Well, I'm a human. I think. I can't really tell because I don't have any arms or legs right now. Nice spiky hair. All right, let's uh, let's get down into the water here. Oh yeah, this is cool. Now. I have never played a game quite like this. Uh, just diving into the water. It's beautiful down here. There's something I can get right here. Broke the limestone. I, I don't know what that does. Maybe we gathered some of it. But I feel like we should go back up because our uh, oxygen is... Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into the surface here. I hope. Hope we can get to the surface. There we go. Okay, we got to the surface. All right. I don't know what that's supposed to be, so I'm gonna imagine that it's something we don't need. I don't want that cargo container. I don't really know what to do to get it, so. Table coral. Alright, go back up. I'm supposed to be grabbing here. Pick up an acid mushroom, okay? Open PDA. Let's do that. So we've got some acid mushrooms. Go back up here. Now we'll open the PDA. Purple fungus. So we need some metal salvage. We need some titanium. We've got a life pod to preserve. Zero human life signs. Yeah, I, I got that. Okay, so blueprints. We've got air pumps. Handheld scanner. Repair tool. Mobile, Sea Glide, start here. If you're reading this, you've survived an emergency. Full monitoring of vital signs, blueprints for fabrication, and so forth. Okay, well, I saw what I think is a shark over there. That's not ever a pleasant sign. Kind of want to go see what's in this container over here, if anything. Anything I can use? No. All right, well. Oh, 
Okay, let's go back up to that. So we've got a fabricator, we've got resources with basic materials. We need titanium, creep vine cluster, quartz, or salt and coral tube samples. With electronics, we need copper ore, acid mushrooms, and copper ore. So we've got the acid mushrooms, but that's it so far. So we can build a battery, potentially, with that. We just need some copper for equipment. We need a lot of titanium and silicone rubber and fiber mesh. More titanium. Lots and lots of titanium needed. Battery and titanium. Battery and glass. So go back out. So what we're looking for, more so than anything else, is titanium. I'm not sure where we're going to find titanium. Got some metal salvage there. Yeah, yeah, getting to the surface here. Oxygen's gonna be just fine in just a second. We got some metal tubes here. Okay, that that's certainly not something I wanted to go for. Let's uh Pick up the creature egg anyway. Oxygen's low. Let's get back up out to the sea level here. Now we need to find more of that metal plating before we do anything else. That's a, a nice looking almost turtle-like thing. What are these over here? Anything usable? gonna probably die yeah we ran out of oxygen just like that already <sighs> so picking up that floater actually hurt us a lot worse than I expected Let's see we have resources do we have We don't have any copper ore yet. It is keeping the, uh... It doesn't look like we have any metal salvage yet. So let's, let's go see if we can get salvaged metal here in front of us. Pick up metal salvage. There's some. Keep an eye on literally everything that's going on around us. Go back up to the surface here. We go through this coral tube. Table coral. Looking 
for some more metal salvage or maybe if we get closer to the other ship there'll be more metal to salvage it's, it's getting darker the further over we go though I don't know if anybody else noticed that I most certainly did Nothing we can use there. Let's go back up to the surface. Hopefully we can get there in time. Oxygen. Yep, yep, getting to the oxygen. It's getting a little bit dark. Much harder to see. Hoping that that would be something we could use. We can get lots of acid mushrooms, but that's about it. And get into the oxygen, thanks. All of our systems are, and there's a fire in the life pod interior, of course. Can't use a repair tool because we don't have a repair tool yet. Let's let's go to the fabricator and see what it would take to build that repair tool. Silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. So I know where the cave sulfur is. That's unfortunately it so far. Let's go back down into the water. Let's go find some cave sulfur. At least hope to. What's this over here? That's table coral. back up to the top before we go into the cave. Once we go top side. I'll go down into the cave. I like to find a cave entrance. Okay, that sucked. Got some quartz, but not sulfur. Let's try going this way and see if we can find some sulfur. Those guys scare the crap out of me. Let's climb back to the top here. Hopefully we can get to the top without dying again. Man. Where's our ship at? It's over there. 
See if we can go this way and not die. I want the acid mushrooms. I really want some... Okay. Our oxygen is going to kill us. That's okay. So we have faded out again. If we were playing single death, we would be totally hosed right now. He died and lost some belongings. Okay, well, let's see what belongings we still have. We have some titanium. We only have one quartz. Let's see, so... What do we need titanium for? You can build an oxygen tank, or a fire extinguisher, or a chain of pipes, or floating air pumps. So I think we need this oxygen tank for sure. Let's build ourselves an oxygen tank. That gives us more oxygen, which means I can stay for a slightly deeper dive. All right, and it's daytime now. It should hopefully make these caves slightly less infuriating. <laughs> so far, we're doing pretty poorly here. Let's, uh, let's take the giant coral tubes. Let's resurface for just a second here. I don't know why I'm so keen on surfacing so often. I think I'm just paranoid about drowning. I'm not really into drowning. I don't know if that's a normal thing in a game like this or not. What I'm looking for is an entrance into a cave. I think that coral over there looks promising. Looks like it might lead into a cave entrance of some time. No, nope, no, nope, it doesn't. What we're looking for is in one of these caverns here, some sulfur. I hear it. Ha! You missed me that time, jerk. Metal salvage. I need that for sure. I like when it tells me 30 seconds because that means I have enough time to surface. Metal salvage? No. How about this tube? Anything I can use for? No. Okay. How did they both hit me? I tried to run from them both. That's so terrible. Right, let's get down into this cave here. this quartz. I'll take the quartz. Man, they totally killed me. Alright, let's see what we lost. Don't have a, a radio tool yet, but let's see. We've got high capacity O2. Something new we can make, but basic materials, we got more titanium. With more titanium, we can build fire extinguisher, 
pipe. Or floating air pump. Alright. And then we've got deployables. We've got a waterproof locker. That can hold stuff in it. Um, for right now, I think we'll just keep the uh, standard O2 tank we've already got. I don't really need to do that yet. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna make the pipes. And I'm gonna make the floating air pump. For right now. Alright, so we've got those items. Let's go back up. Still looking for some sulfur. Yeah, you're a jerk. Go away. Limestone outcropping. Let's go up to the surface first. All right, now let's go down. really like to kill me down here. So I think I need to figure out a way to destroy them before we do anything else. Nothing we can use the fabricator for just yet. So let's try to gather some more. We'll stay out of the cave for right now. See what we can get from just outside the caves. Dang! This game really is frightening, I have to say. Some metal salvage. Creep vine. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Yeah, I'll, I'll study when I can. For right now, what I really, really want is to not die and to gather some more resources that I actually really need for surviving and building here. I feel like this way is probably going to kill us. But let's try anyway. Got a little bit of stuff here. All right, now let's climb back up to the surface. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into the surface. Let's 
Let's see if we can find any other stone outcroppings or anything we can use without dying. I like that. Unlikely but plausible is good. Doing that little bit of mining has helped. A small amount, at least. Let's see if we can find our uh, capsule. into this capsule and see what we can pick up. Let's see what we can fabricate now. So we've got basic materials in sti with titanium. But we've also got electronics now. We can build a battery. So we've got a battery now. We can build a power cell now. And we can build a scanner out of the titanium. Alright, so we've got a couple of things here. What do we need to build the fire extinguisher? We have enough to build that. I feel like we should use the fire extinguisher. What's the new material? We can build a power cell with silicone rubber. All right, so let's see. Don't have a repair tool yet. Let's go over here. Can't do anything with that because that too needs a repair tool. We need some power cells. We've got a storage container. I see, so we can do contain. What do we have in the storage container right now? Got some nutrient blocks and some flares. All right, so let's uh, switch containers on all of these items. Some silver, some gold, some quartz, some lead, lots of titanium. So we got lots of items in there now. I'm curious now, let's see, we've got basic materials. We don't have the ability to build that yet, that's fine. Just got a beacon manager, photo manager, scanner can be used to salvage blueprints, all right. So let's, uh, let's climb back up this ladder, take another dive. I don't know if I'm actually getting the hang of this or not, to be perfectly honest. Kind of feel like I'm doing a very poor job thus far. I am curious what button does the scanning. I see the scanner. Jerk. 
Those little guys just get me every time. I'm gonna look for some precious metals on the outside here. Brain coral. It gets dark and creepy down here for sure. I want to learn is once we get up here scanner Short range scan suggests that this bio supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. I don't want to unequip anything, I want to equip. This place is so creepy at night. Now keep in mind, if I was playing hardcore, I would have been dead like 25 minutes ago. Because I am not very good at survival. That moon is gorgeous. I actually want to stay up on the surface for a little while and just look at the moon. That's pretty sweet. I guess crashing on an alien planet in a submarine is not too bad of an idea. Actually, I don't even know if it's a submarine, to be honest. In a craft. Look how gorgeous this underwater area is. I want to use the scanner, but I don't know how. Charge 100%. how to use it. Nice! So the brain coral actually can give us some more oxygen. Good to know if we're ever really dying right next to the brain coral. Let's look for some more deposits here. Even if it's just more scrap metal, which this is what it looks like. Metal salvage, beautiful.
That didn't sound pleasant. But it's daylight now. Maybe it isn't too unpleasant either. Let's resurface. Let's go back down. Let's go try to find some copper or some other things in the sandstone and limestone. We could really use some sulfur. Some nice deep dark cave sulfur would be great. More metal salvage. That's always helpful. Fly up. Of course. Now, as much as I don't want that to happen, I have no idea how to prevent it. Nice, got some more copper. I'm assuming this is metal? Yeah. kind of resources we get from this limestone. Some titanium. That looks like another piece I might be able to pull off up there. Is it? Or is it just a rock? Yeah. More copper. Let's go back up to the surface. The unfortunate thing is I still haven't found any sulfur deposits. I know those are really only in caves, but getting lots of copper, a bit more titanium each time, more metal. over here before we go up. Now let's head for the surface. So if we go down here, we've got quartz for sure. You guys. Alright, let's go this way as quickly as we can. Okay. Cave sulfur. And I think there might have been some more. More cave sulfur, all right. More quartz. Let's go to the surface. And now we've got sulfur and quartz. Let's head back to our little craft if we can find it here. Wow, I am so lost. Seems to be that way. 200 meters. <laughs> we we went pretty darn far away. Let's get 
back up to the surface. And when we dive back down, we'll get some more resources and head to... Head for the hills, as it were. See something there? Is that just a barnacle of some form? Yeah. We can use yet. I know there's more sulfur down there in that eerie cave, but... Uh, let's go up here. Anything? No, just giant coral too, okay. Let's head back up here. Let's see what we can build. Hopefully we can build something really useful this time. Tools. We can build a flare with the cave sulfur, but not anything. All right, so we need silicone rubber. How do we build silicone rubber is the question. Resources. Titanium. Silicone rubber, we need some seed clusters. Okay. So I think we can do that for sure. We can build copper wire. We really need... So we've got all the same stuff that we had before. So to build the repair tool, we need silicone rubber. And to build silicone rubber, we just need some seed clusters, okay? So, we need to go back down in and grab seed clusters from the creep vine. I know there's a lot of creep vine around somewhere right over there. I just need some seed clusters from that creep vine. See if we can find some of those. Seed cluster. Our inventory is full. So we've got the seed clusters that we needed. Now we're going to surface. Because otherwise we'll run out of oxygen. And then we'll head to the craft over here. And I'm really hoping that this means we can build a repair tool and actually start to repair our craft. And maybe ourselves, because our life is uh, hanging in the balance, as it were. So using the fabricator, let's use the resources to build silicone rubber. Now I've got that. Now I'll use the resources to build the repair tool. And now with the repair tool, ah, metal kit fabricator. Let's let's use that first aid kit. I guess we can't yet, okay? Using the repair tool. I want to use the repair tool. I have a repair tool. How do I use it? All right. Uh, hmm. It's open as a storage container. We've got lots of metal salvage. Lots of creep vine. I've assigned a quick slot, but I don't know how to use the quick slots. Man, I really want to use the repair tool. How, how do I... Hmm. 
See what else we can fabricate. Do more silicone rubber. Build some fins. We need fiber mesh. Build a survival knife. Build some flares. We can build some copper wire. We can build lots of titanium, which I think we really need for pretty much anything else. Now we can build titanium ingot, which takes up less space now. We need more quartz. We need a salt deposit and, and tube samples. That's for bleach. What do we use the bleach to build is the question. So high capacity ta tank, we need glass and more titanium. We've got the silver ore for it, I think. We've got the repair tool. We've got a flashlight. So we've got really everything we need there. Just need to learn how to use items because I'd love to repair some things in this weird ship we've got. So let's go to options and see if we can see how to how to use a repair tool. Left hand use A plus left trigger. Okay, let's try that. Cool. All right, so we survived a week in the water dying many times. I think that's going to be good for right now. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this look at Subnautica, which is a beautiful, beautiful game in virtual reality. I'll be back with more VR content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.